Hi everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing this Valentine Overbust Corset from Dark Garden Signature Line. So here's the front, side, the back, and the other side. The Dark Garden Valentine Overbust Corset has pretty much the same dimensions and proportions compared to their Sweetheart Overbust Corset, but it's designed to uh, flatter curvier figures and fuller figures better because it has five panels per side instead of four. So that means it has an extra panel per side compared to the Sweetheart, as well as two more bones per side for extra structure, but it doesn't actually change the silhouette of the corset. The center front here is 15 inches high, and from the peak of the bust over the, the swell of the breast here and down to the lap area along the princess seam is about 16 and 3 quarter inches so almost 17 inches along the side here is about 14 inches and along the center back it is about 13 and a half inches for the circumferential measurements this is a size 24 corset measured internally the bust is 34 inches and along the bottom edge here at the low hip is 36 inches so this corset gives a bust spring of about 10 inches and a hip spring of about 12 inches and in terms of the silhouette, I would consider this a mild to moderate hourglass. It does pull me in a little bit, but it's not an extremely dramatic silhouette. And the bones along the side seams here are pre-bent to give me room over the iliac crest. So it's very comfortable and it's not actually pressing or pinching on uh, the, the bones of my pelvis here. Another thing that I really like about Dark Garden's overbust courses is that the height from the waistline up to the very top of this bust line here uh, seems to be longer than some other corsets that I have reviewed in the past. I mean, I have reviewed corsets that were 17 inches from the very top to bottom, but it seems that for those other corsets, uh, more of the length was distributed from the waistline to the bottom and less from the waistline to the top, which is what I need because I'm long-waisted and also low-waisted. However, this corset actually has more of a length um, distributed from the waist up, so it actually covers my chest properly. I also like how uh, for their patterning, the corset seems to actually curve over the swell of the breast instead of flattening it and, you know, kind of squishing me into oblivion. Here is the Valentine Overbust laid flat, and for the materials of this, it's two main layers. The fashion fabric is this black silk rayon uh, diamond weave brocade, and on the inside, it is a densely woven cotton black canvas. Here's a close-up of the Dark Garden label, so unique corsetry, size 24, made in uh, San Francisco, and dry clean only. The pattern for the Valentine Overbust has five panels per side, so ten panels total. One, two, three, four, five, and the bust is distributed between panels one and two here, mostly, and then the hip is distributed uh, mostly between panels three and four, but maybe a little bit of two right there. So Dark Garden's Valentine Overbust has one more panel per side compared to their uh, uh, sweetheart overbust corset which is usually four panels per side and for the actual assembly of this corset I believe that the fashion fabric and the lining were flat lined and treated as one and the panels were assembled using a top stitch there so I see a very neat and tidy top stitch on the inside here and so the seam allowances would be on the outside which were then covered by these uh, double boning channels on the seams here and hopefully it's not too dark to see, but uh, there is an exposed waist tape on the inside here. It's about three quarters of an inch wide, uh, black twill, and it extends from uh, between panels one and two here, all the way back to the very back edge, uh, anchored in by those grommets there. It's also stitched down and secured at each of these seams here. When they sewed the boning channels, they also anchored the waist tape in place. And here's a close-up of the binding made from bias strips of matching black diamond uh, silk rayon brocade here. Neatly machine stitched on the outside and you can see a, lot, a tiny little top stitch right there. And on the inside as well, it is machine stitched. Also, this comes with uh, four garter tabs on each side for a total of eight. Like with the other Dark Garden Modesty panels, the one that comes with the Valentine Overbust it comes separately, stiffened, so you can choose to wear it with the Modesty panel or without. Uh, this particular Modesty panel is uh, a little bit over 13 inches long and about 5 inches wide here. 
Uh, it also has uh, quarter inch wide flat steel bones crisscrossing here and also um, two more vertical steel bones on the sides they're going vertically it also has binding to finish the top and bottom here and the binding also adds a little bit of uh, stiffness as well uh, so that it resists any crumpling when you are lacing up the corset so this is finished with the diamond silk brocade fashion fabric on the outside and also the black canvas on the inside and like with the other dark garden corsets there's no modesty placket on the knob side of the busk here however this side of the busk is recessed a little bit with a tiny little top stitch there that seems to uh, cover the gap between the busk when you actually do it up so you do have to be careful not to catch uh, your shirt or anything in between there but once it's secure you should not see any uh, gaping in between the, the busk there the busk in this corset is 14 inches long by half an inch wide on each side. It's a standard flexible busk with seven loops and pins all equidistantly spaced. Additionally, there is a half inch wide flat steel bone on either side of the busk. It's a little bit shorter. You might be able to see the seam right there where it starts and is anchored down. So uh, this part of the corset is unboned so that uh, when your bust actually fills out this part of the corset, the bone is not going to cut into the cleavage there. The Valentine overbust has a total of 22 bones, 11 on each side, not including the busk here. So it has quarter inch wide uh, steel bones, uh, double boned on the seams here, and you can see that the spiral bones curve nicely over uh, the bust curve there. And uh, on the back here, there are two quarter inch wide flat steel bones uh, sandwiching the grommets. And on the front here, beside the busk, there is that half inch wide flat steel bone. Here's a close-up of the grommets. There are a total of 34 of them, 17 on each side. They're sized double zero with a medium flange around them. They're finished in black, which is a nice touch as it matches the rest of the corset here. Uh, they're equidistantly spaced and all set very securely and neatly. Here's a close-up of the back of the grommets, and you can see a nice big washer around each of these. No uh, damage or fraying of the fabric around these grommets here. And uh, there are splits in uh, each of these grommets, but otherwise they have seemed to roll nicely. Uh, the splits don't actually uh, affect the functionality of the corset. They don't actually catch on the laces at all, so I have uh, no problem with them in that respect. And the laces that come with this corset are uh, 3 8 7 inch wide double-faced satin ribbon here finished in black, and they glide through the grommets very well. They're long enough. I can get into and out of this corset very comfortably. Uh, they hold the bow well. They don't have the bow constantly slipping out. It has a nice low profile, so if you want to wear this corset underneath clothing, then the laces are not going to have too much bulk to them, so they are perfectly fine. The standard size Valentine Overbust corset is available from sizes 18 inches up to 38 inches in the closed waist measurement here, and they start at about $440 US for a plain black cotton poplin. However, if you would like your corset in the same black diamond silk brocade that I'm wearing today, this is available for $490. And now for the bust test. <laughs> So the Valentine Overbus definitely got a 4 out of 4 on the bust test. It definitely did what it said it would do, which is support fuller figures or fuller busted clients. And uh, I felt that I was not being squished in at any point, yet I was being well supported. And I liked how, like I said earlier in the video, when uh, the corset actually curves around and over top of the breast, it makes me feel more secure on the, the top area here, especially if I'm bending over. I don't feel like anything's going to spill out, yet at the same time, I don't feel like I'm being pushed up too unnaturally. And this concludes my review of the Valentine Overbust Corset from Dark Garden Signature Line. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to click that like button and help support the channel. If you have any comments about this corset or Dark Garden, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you or forward your questions over to Dark Garden and I'll see you in a few days for another video. Bye!